بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين In the name of Allah we are going to start our lesson today This rule is called as you see emphatic do It is concerned with the idea of using verb to do with its forms of the present and the past to express uh, the importance of this idea in the sentence okay for example if i say i need your help it's natural if i say i need your help it's normal huh? uh, sentence okay but if i say huh, i do need your help this means i need your help very very much urgently okay I do need your help. So, using do, as you see, or as you know, with the, the pronouns I, we, you, and they, or the plural nouns in the present. We use also does in the present, but for the singular noun, nouns or pronouns, like he, she, or it, or any singular noun. Okay? If I say, for example, Ali likes football, this means Ali likes football as anyone who likes football, okay? But if I say, Ali does like football, this means Ali likes football very, very much, okay? In the past also, we can use the past form of do, which is did. We can say, for example, I did ask you for the answer of the questions yesterday. This means I asked you about these answers many times. Okay. I do, uh, sorry, I say, uh, example in the past. I did need your uh, help in my homework yesterday this means it was urgent to 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 give me your help or to get your help uh, to finish my homework yesterday okay and notice that after putting do does and did the main uh, uh, verb of the sentence will be in the infinitive form okay let's see do is usually used as an auxiliary in negative and question uh, forms of the symbol present and past tense. However, the auxiliary do can also be used before the infinitive in affirmative sentences to add special emphasis. This is our lesson today, to have or to give special emphasis. Like this example. I do enjoy his company. I do enjoy his company. Means I enjoy his company very much. He does like to talk. He does like, he does talk, uh, sorry, he does like to talk. This means he likes to talk very, very much. Okay. We can also use emphatic to do or do to show a contrast between expectations and reality. You didn't call me yesterday. I did call you yesterday. Huh? This means, or this is a contrast between uh, expectations and reality. Reality, you didn't call me. Expectations, huh? I did call you yesterday. We usually get along very well. But we do have arguments occasionally. Yes. Note. Emphatic do is strongly emphasized in speech. We are going to have some exercise uh, about our uh, uh, rule uh, here. Number one. Many young people like to socialize on the internet. Okay. Here we can also use, uh, it's another rule, okay? Here, 
Rewrite each sentence adding do, does, or did. Number one, I hope you get better quickly. Hope here is present without s, so we use do. I do hope you get better quickly. Number two, that child plays quietly. Here plays with, with s, so we use does. That child does play quietly or does enjoy playing uh, quietly. Number three, he needs to find a job soon. Here needs with s, so we use does. He does need, okay, to find a job soon. Number four, I asked my friend to join us. Here asked is in the past tense, is in the past symbol. So we use did. I did ask my friend to join us. Number five, this store has the best selection. Uh, has present symbol with the singular pronouns or nouns. So we use does. This store does have the best selection. Has is changed to have because it is the infinitive of has. Have is the infinitive of has. The teacher noticed you weren't at, were absent. The teacher noticed. It's in the past symbol, so we will use did, okay? The teacher did not you were absent, okay? Yes. The last exercise that we have today is to match. Number one is done for you. We don't usually watch TV. The other half of this sentence, C. But we watch that program. Okay, number two. I am afraid of heights. Okay. Ah, the other half here is E. Though I fly occasionally. Number three. I forgot to call my friend. I forgot to call my friend. The other half here is B. But I sent my friend an email. Number three. Uh, sorry, number four. I didn't have a lot of time. Here we can say the second or the other half is if, but I manage I manage it to finish my homework. Five, she doesn't want to go shopping. Here, the other half is a, but her sister wants to go shopping. The last one, although she's a bit quiet. The other half here is D. Uh, she has a great sense of humor. Okay. That's for today. That's the end of our lesson. Thank you and goodbye.